Yo, what's good everyone? This is AEO Boxing with Madiba, and here's my post-fight review for Canelo Alvarez vs. John Ryder. And this was an interesting fight. No one thought that Ryder would win this, and many saw this fight as a benchmark to see where Canelo was at in his career. And despite dominating and winning almost every round, many fans believe that Canelo is slowing down and on a decline, and I somewhat agree. And it's not because Canelo didn't knock out Ryder, who is a legitimate, tough, natural, super middleweight, but because he didn't look as sharp as he usually does. The fight started off somewhat fast. Canelo was the one initiating the action. He was applying intelligent pressure and coming forward with the high guard, utilizing his jab, pot shotting with the straight right hand, and a left hook to the body. This forced Ryder on the back foot, putting him on the ropes. This allowed Canelo to land and let off short combinations and then land with the right hand, especially with the sweeping right hook. Canelo also had better footwork. Ryder was not able to get the outside foot positioning, so he was not able to get the superior angle as a southpaw. This led to him getting hit with the right hand consistently. Ryder was also hesitant on initiating the action. He didn't utilize his jab in fear of getting countered. This then allowed Canelo to walk down Ryder. But Ryder did find some success in counterpunching when Canelo would throw short combinations. He also would smother and halt the offense of Canelo from time to time and land a sneaky left uppercut when he was on the inside. But for the most part, Canelo was dominating Ryder in the early rounds. Canelo would even drop Ryder with a strong, clean 1-2 in the fifth round. At that point, it looked like Canelo was going to stop Ryder, but the fight would change from there on out. Ryder would become more active and aggressive. He let his hands go more often and was making his way inside more often, making the fight rough for Canelo. He was also able to land a left uppercut and right hook more consistently. Despite that, Canelo was still in control and was piecing up Ryder. Ryder's head was on the line, which made an easy target for Canelo. Canelo would hurt Ryder again in the ninth round, and I thought that Ryder was going to get stopped at that point, but yet again, Ryder survived and became even more aggressive in the championship rounds. He was landing more frequently on Canelo, and this was due to him utilizing his southpaw jab more often, and Canelo opening up more looking for the knockout, and also Canelo started to fade at the end of the fight. The championship rounds were competitive, and Ryder even won the last round in my opinion. Overall, it was an entertaining fight. Canelo was just one step ahead of Ryder in all departments, but the signs of a slight decline was there. Canelo looked more flat-footed than usual. His defense didn't look as sharp as it usually does, since he wasn't slipping certain punches and couldn't make an adjustment to the left uppercut, and his stamina isn't lasting the whole fight. Overall, Canelo is slowing down. He's still an elite fighter, but he's slowing down. Based on this performance, I don't think Canelo is ready for Bavol. He wants to rematch, but I think Bavol will beat him up worse, especially if it's at light heavyweight. In all honesty, I think that Benavides has a solid chance of beating Canelo at this current moment as well. John Ryder, on the other hand, got a moral victory despite losing. He won all 12 rounds, so there's nothing to be ashamed of. He'll most likely turn into a gatekeeper at 168, and I'm interested to see who he'll fight next. But if Canelo loses his next fight, his run as the face of boxing will most likely end. But who knows, this is boxing, anything can happen. But thank you for tuning in with AEO Boxing with Fadiba. Hit like and subscribe, and more content is coming your way.